This is it. Your moment. You've earned your way here. Pristine preparation. Countless miles on the trails, week in and week out. The injuries, the long hours, the early mornings, the solitude, the camaraderie, all for this one race. What's at stake? College scholarships, the ultimate hardware, course records, and memories to last a lifetime. Only the most elite teams in America battle it out for the title of national champions. It all comes down to this, one final race. Nike Cross Nationals 2019. Top two boys teams in America this year are both from Southern California, the perennial power of Great Oak and the new sensation, Newberry Park. My mindset's always been we'll take on anyone, anywhere, anytime. We've never been afraid of anyone. Great Oak is coached by Doug Souls, who since 2010 has amassed a true dynasty, leading his boys and girls teams to an unprecedented 14 California Division I state championships and the Nike Cross Nationals boys title in 2015. I'm a Wolfpack for life, and I, I, the pride is, is going to be there forever. True to the school's mascot, Souls annually develops and inspires Wolfpack groups that are so deep, their B teams often overwhelm other state championship teams. We've always had the mindset of let's hunt the best teams, let's not avoid people, let's figure out who the best teams are and let's go after them. Newberry Park is America's new supercharged program, led by a prodigious young coach in Sean Brosnan. Our goal has always been simple from the beginning. I sat in front of my team, my first year coaching, and I said, give me four years and I promise you a state title. And he won one in three. Since his arrival in 2016, he's catapulted the program onto the national radar almost overnight. My friends joke with me and they always say, you think everyone could be fast, and I do. I think, well, everyone can be faster. Within two years, the Panthers won the California Division II state title and punched their first ticket to Nike Cross Nationals. 420 is not fast for a high school mile. It's just not fast. And if they believe that, they're, they're going to start thinking it's a, a state of mind. Brosnan has perfected a rare gift, the ability to fashion championship teams and maximizing individual potential. Although they have unique histories and have different approaches to achieve success, these two teams would become involved in one of the most intense rivalries ever in 2019. I'm Rich Gonzalez. For the past three decades, I've been blessed with the opportunity to chronicle some of the very best teams in both California and United States history. I join forces with HD Runners to go on an in-depth exploration to personally interview the passionate coaches, talented kids, and dedicated parents who all came together to make these two teams truly spectacular. Four twenty is not fast for a high school mile. It's just not fast. Nico Young, he's a crazy runner. He's a beast. Seeing them reach these goals and having success they never knew they could have. You don't want to disappoint the history of Great Oak. There comes an automatic pressure. Give me four years and I promise you a state title. We want world domination and we want to win every level at a meet. We want to be good at everything. Temecula, California, home to one of the nation's most decorated and revered high school cross-country programs, Great Oak High School. With an enrollment of 3,200 students, it is an hour's drive from downtown San Diego and sits 90 miles southeast of downtown Los Angeles. Their boys and girls programs have combined to win an astonishing 14 Division I state titles while competing in America's most talent-saturated hotbed. But before the parade of titles and glory, Coach Doug Souls endured humbler beginnings while starting out at a small, unheralded Southern California stop, Desert Hot Springs High School. The Desert Hot Springs High School uh, principal called me and said, hey, you need to get down here. You guys have been hired as the cross country coaches. Originally, I was just gonna do uh, boys track and field. So kind of sprung on me. I wasn't expecting it and uh, wasn't really that worried about it. Showed up the first day to practice and we had three kids, two boys and a girl that showed up. And it was like, okay, we got, we got some work to do. You know, I think for, for me, 
coming from the very bottom, not being a distance coach at all, to having to step in there, I had to ask a lot of questions of a lot of great coaches. So, you know, I still reach out to Ken Reeves and still talk with a lot of great coaches. You know, slowly but surely started putting it all together. And by the time I got to Great Oak in 2004, had a pretty good understanding of the direction we wanted to go with it and, you know, wanted to wanted to compete for state titles, state and national titles at that point. In 2004, Doug took the reins of a program that had literally just opened its doors, Great Oak High School. Using what he learned at Desert Hot Springs, plus coaching clinics and mentors, he set out to build a national caliber program. Within five years, the plan was coming together. The Wolfpack began experiencing major success, establishing themselves as the new statewide California powerhouse. In 2015, Doug's boys teams won the prestigious Nike Cross Nationals title in their first ever appearance at the championship race. Their arrival was swift, but Portland is now their second home. The Wolfpack have appeared in every NXN race since, including a dazzling runner-up performance in 2018. This year, Doug and the boys are determined to get back on the top step of the podium. And my mindset's always been, we'll take on anyone, anywhere, anytime. We've never been afraid of anyone. We've always had the mindset of, let's hunt the best teams. Let's not avoid people. Let's figure out who the best teams are and let's go after them. We, we always felt like we were the uh, hunter, in a sense, even though if we were the hunted, right? Because we wanted to keep the mentality that, you know what? We did well, but somebody could do better. Doug specializes in creating ultra-fit runners. While not pack racing by design, he's developed his athletes to similar aerobic capacities. The natural byproduct has been the Wolfpack formation. Coming into Great Oak from another school is definitely intimidating at first. It has this long history of um, a lot of success, but it was also exciting just to, um, you know, train with the best, some of the best in the state, best in the country, and just be able to, you know, develop as an athlete. On race day, the Wolfpack typically attacks in groups. In a three-mile race, all five scorers will often finish within 20 seconds of each other, leading to results that echo their trademark catchphrase. World domination. <laughs> world domination. World domination. World domination. Yeah, world, world domination actually came from Coach Noble. The story is where before every meet, a uh, big meet, we'll have a team meeting. Like, we'll have the girls come in for an hour and then the boys come in for an hour and we do this PowerPoint slide. And he put in a little sound bite. And he said, world domination. And jokingly, because we always say, let's go out and dominate, let's go out and do our best. And then the kids uh, picked up on it, and so we started saying world domination for all the things that we did. And I, you know, I think it evolved from we want to win every level at a meet to you know, we want to be good at everything. You know, our alumni, our pro athletes, anybody in every single level. For us, that's a little bit of world domination, so. Meanwhile, a young team with a modest tradition is finding its groove at Newberry Park a school of 2,500 students located an hour's drive northwest of downtown Los Angeles. Coach Sean Brosnan arrived at the school in 2016 and the transformation quickly took shape. My you know, classic story is I always thought I wanted to be a coach one day. So I, I always thought, hey, like I'm gonna be the guinea pig on this and I'm gonna you know, train with Scott Simmons and then you know, I was with you know, Brad Hudson for a small time and I was with Andy Downing and Eugene and I just kind of jumped around and in the back of my head I thought I'm gonna coach one day. Thought I'd be a college coach one day but I ended up in high school and I, it's been pretty awesome and to be in high school at Newberry Park, it just kind of fell into place, so. Sean's true strength as a coach is in developing high-end individuals, as evidenced by their track success each spring. Unlike the army of runners found in Great Oaks program, Newberry Park's approach mimicked the blueprint found in a typical collegiate program, a small roster and with a more individualized focus. You know, make it all about them and focus on them, individualize the training to them as much as you can. and you're going to have the success, you're going to get their, their buy-in, they're going to be more excited about it. So I just started, you know, sitting the kids down and just kind of making them believe of, of what could happen and it wasn't super successful in the first year or so. Um, it, it was rough, you know, I was catching some of the kids at the park on the swings, like skipping runs and I either, I always joke, I said I either thought I was going to get fired or their parents were going to complain about me because I, I told them, you know, 
straightforward. I said, listen, you guys are wasting my time. Nobody needs to do this. If you don't want to put the work in, you can go join a water polo or do something else. Nothing against water polo, but <laughs> I always thought you could do something in other sport. I didn't want to be a coach like that. Can he replicate that individualized success across his entire varsity roster? Each and every new individual success will push the Panthers ever closer to the national title. Recently, Sean Star frontrunner Nico Young has been garnering national attention. But Sean's relying on other runners to win team trophies. You can have the two best runners in America, but without solid three, four, and five scores as backup, the team score will suffer. I just kind of came in and I, I, I really just wanted to present the opportunity to the kids. I felt like there were a lot of kids that were somewhat talented, could run some decent times, you know, 920s, let's say under 420 or right around 420. None of them were doing that. Yeah, the first time I met Sean, uh, I think I thought probably he was a little crazy just because um, he loves to talk on and on about running and I really didn't know anything about running and it just was, I trusted everything he said in his training and everything and I think that's what led me to um, do the things I've done, so. Sean's style definitely doesn't connect with everyone. I mean, we've had people kind of drop off and fall off the team because they don't really want to commit themselves to that level of running. But I think you see Sean's love of the sport. He spent years of his life since junior year in high school. He's been fully invested in this sport and learning and just diving deeper into what it means to be a runner. That rubs off on us in a really big way because he'll get sidetracked and talk about running for half an hour before practice. And just that love and commitment to the sport makes us want to understand why he loves that sport so much. And I used to sit there and I used to watch some of these kids and they would be like 435 milers. And I'm like, this guy could run like a 410. He just doesn't understand or he's not thinking right. I, I just didn't think they understood 420 is not fast for a high school mile. It's just not fast. And if they believe that, they're, they're gonna start thinking it's a, a state of mind. My friends joke with me and they always say, you think everyone could be fast. And I do, I think, well, everyone can be faster. The plan clearly worked. Newberry Park placed ninth at state in Sean's first year and claimed their first state title by year three. Everyone's got a goal. It's easy to dream big, but it's hard to work hard. It's hard, it's hard to work big, you know? By the spring of 2019, coach Sean Brosnan had already pegged his Newberry Park team as a prime contender for the Nike Cross Nationals Championship. Overall, the 2019 season will be a defining chapter for the Newberry Park program and for Sean Brosnan's early coaching career as well. While Sean prepares for the coming season, it's business as usual for Doug at Great Oak. Being a high visibility program with tons of titles means the target is always on your back. You're in the crosshairs and everyone is out to beat you every single day. We came into this season believing it was gonna be us versus Newberry Park. And he and I talked at Masters last year um, about the fact that it was gonna be, you know, Newberry Park coming and we knew we had a great team and we knew that they had the front runners so it was gonna be a pretty good battle. And I think that was fun, kind of knowing that it was gonna go that way. Putting together a great training summer will be key. In cross country, summer mileage and hill training are the first key physical and mental training blocks toward a championship season. I think the most fun memories I have, are, are probably a lot of them are in Big Bear. Big Bear. Big Bear. You got it. Just go. Yeah! <laughs> to be able to go to camp and not only experience what it is to train up there in altitude, but to experience the culture of your team is very special. Join us in the next episode as we go deeper into the personal sacrifices each team member makes in order to be great. And later, we dive into Altitude Camp, team culture, and the 2019 season.